Hello and welcome to this tutorial on AIML. In today's tutorial we're going to cover the SRAI tag and we're also going to cover the wildcard. Um, so we'll start with the wildcard. The wildcard, what it does is it basically allows you to replace any word with the wildcard. Um, and to give you an example of what that actually means, I will create a new category and we put the wildcard in between our pattern tags and a wildcard is this symbol, the asterisk symbol and that's the symbol just above the 8 on your keyboard so hit shift 8 and it should come up and then we will in the template what we will do is we are going to write star forward slash and closing tag and so what this does is basically say well the wildcard takes an input the wildcard so whatever you type that will be the value of the wildcard and the template what star means is repeat what is in the wildcard. So let's show that now. If I go down to our uh, chatbot and I just type in hi and it will respond with hi. So basically if you just have a wildcard on its own like this any response that you haven't already defined will be it will just refer to whatever is in the template tags of the wildcard. So obviously we don't just have to put star, we could put in I am uh, uh, hippo possum and that will still work. Oh, I need to save it first. And now it will work. There. So you can use text, you can use tags. And if we type in what is your name we will still get the answer we put down here so you don't just have to use a wild card on its own you can use it to decrease the length of sentences you can use it for a lot of different things and I'll show you a few more examples of what you can do so let's say we wanted to write the sentence um, where is London tell me where London is something like that what we can do is if we put our wildcard in front of the word London and that should be in all capitals then whatever is before London will just be put into the wildcard so we don't need to worry about what comes before London basically we don't need to write a lot of different characters we don't need to write a lot of different categories just for London, we can just have this um, asterisk London and I'll show you that working now. Saved. We can just do tell tell me where London where is London and it will obviously tell us the correct answer which is I am a hippopotamus lad um, we couldn't with this format do something like tell me where London is because we've got one word coming after London which isn't defined in our pattern tag so we would have to create a new um, wildcard and now we can do tell me where London is once we've saved it. There you go. So one final note on wildcards. If you have more than one wildcard here and you wanted to refer to it using a star tag, you wanted to refer to the second one and not the first, what you would do is you type in your star tag and you put in index equals and then in quotation marks two and then just close the tag. Um, when you're closing tags, 
if it's not something like template where you need to have something in between, you can just put a forward slash and a square bracket and then you don't need to put another tag after that. So now if we put in tell me where London is, it should come up with the in, uh, output is. And there you go. So that's the wildcard. Now I'm going to show you what SRAI is, or SRAI. And SRAI basically means refer to this category, or refer to another category. So I think the best way to demonstrate this is to give you an example. So let's create a new category. And in there we'll put our pattern. And the pattern will be... Um, Tell me what wildcard is. <clears throat> and what we want to do is if we put our wildcard as AIML, we would want instead of having to write another template which just copies this, we can just put in SRAI. So two Shreyai tags, and then in the middle, what is, and then we'll use our star tag to refer to our wildcard. So now if we type in, tell me what your name is, it should give us, your name is tutorial. And if we type in, tell me what AIML is, it will give us the answer that is in the AIML category. So what's going on here is that because we've put in our Shrey I tags, we've put in what it is, so it knows to look at a category which has the word what is at the beginning, and then it replaces the last word with our star symbol, our wildcard, so whatever we put in the wildcard. So the complete sentence, if you type in AIML for the wildcard, would be what is AIML. And the same for what is your name. Okay, so that's it. That's um, all you should need to know on wildcards and SRAI. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.